Okay, I'm gonna tease you a lot in the beginning of the video because I found my favorite croissant. This is really, truly an amazing croissant. I'm not gonna tell you which one it is from which shop. You'll have to stick around till the end of the video when I reveal which one this is. Let the croissant tasting begin. Mm. <laughs> Paris, the city of love and of croissants, which is to me the most important thing right now because I'm gonna find the best croissant in Paris for you. So stick around as we make our way through Paris and find the best bakeries, the best croissants. And of course, we're gonna give you our honest opinion because that's what we do here on Stuffer. We stuff our faces all around the world and give you our honest opinion. Subscribe right now because we've got you covered for Paris and any other city in the world. So we're starting this video off with an anonymous croissant because I wanted to start off with a croissant that was not from a famous bakery, but just from a regular bakery that looked really good. Just to give my taste buds the feeling of what a regular croissant tastes like. So I could compare it to the other ones from the famous bakeries that I will be tasting later on in this video. So let's start with a anonymous croissant. Still really fresh, nice and flaky, buttery, greasy. I like it. I'm happy. Okay, so next croissant. This one is from Boulanger Joseph in uh, the Opera area. It looks mo the most classical, like that really, like that moon shape. It has a really nice gloss. It is squishy, but not too much. It has nice, a lot of layers. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna give it a go. Mm. Not as flaky as I would expect, but very buttery. I love that. Flavor is really nice, but it doesn't stand out to me. This one was one euro 35 which was on the cheap side. It's a good croissant, but it doesn't have that oomph that I was looking for in finding the best croissant here in Paris. Bonjour Paris. Does this look like a man on a mission? Yes. This is what a man on a mission looks like. I'm off to Cédric Grolet, which is one of the most famous patisserie artists here in Paris at the moment. He is huge on Instagram. He makes the most beautiful croissants and of course we want to try it. So this is what I'm heading off for because it will be probably super busy. So I'm there 10 minutes before opening time and hopefully the queue is not that long at that moment. Fingers crossed. This is it, the most expensive croissant that I found in Paris. Four euros, Cédric Grolet. He has like seven million followers on Instagram. It's huge, it is, there's a queue. You have to wait in line, but it is the most beautiful croissant I have ever seen and it doesn't disappoint. I've seen it on Instagram, the pictures, it doesn't disappoint. It feels really sturdy as well. It's just a beautiful thing. I'm excited to try the most expensive and the most hyped croissant in Paris. I'm gonna open it up, which is a shame because I have to destroy it, but I do want to show you. And there's a dog underneath me that loves the buttery flakes. That, ooh, look at it. Ah, oh, this is really thick. Super flaky. All the layers on the outside that you see. Ah, oh, yeah, I really have to give it a go. It is awesome. It is beautiful. Mmm. Mmm, super flaky still. Inside, super, super soft and airy. Not too buttery. It's also not that your fingers are super greasy. Perfect. Mmm, and the taste, it's a croissant. But it's really the, because the outside is so crunchy still and layery and flaky, that you really have that croissant experience that you want to have here. 
Mm, definitely my favorite croissant so far. And for me, worth splurging on. Waiting in line depends on how long you have to wait, of course. But it's fun, right? You just do this one. Okay, so we are in the Quartier Latin, just across from the Seine, from Le Marais, in L'Opéra. And there I found Boulangerie Liberté. And this croissant is also supposedly really good. I have to say, it is beautiful. This one really looks like the one, the expensive one from uh, Cédric Grolet. It has that same vibe. It is not, not as polished, so it is the, the, like the, the less fancy version, but it looks really beautiful for a croissant. It is, if I wouldn't have known the whole Cédric Grolet croissant, I would have said, wow, this is a beautiful croissant as well. Look at it. It's really beautiful. And it's only 1 euro 40, which is crazy because this is just the same amount as a regular croissant everywhere in Paris. And it feels really thick and sturdy as well, I have to say. It is less flaky than the Cédric Crollet version, I have to say. The outside caves in a little bit, but it's still flaky and very a lot of layers. Mmm. Mmm. Flavor-wise, this is the best one so far. It is a little bit less flaky on the outside, of it, but still flaky enough, definitely. But the flavor is the richest flavor I've had so far. And it's also not that buttery on the outside, which is good, but it, it, it does have that buttery taste. But it's not super, super, super greasy on the outside. So this to me actually is my favorite so far. If I have to give points, then this is my favorite. Really nice. Last croissant of this video. Another beauty, and this is from La Maison d'Isabelle, which is also in the Quartier Latin. And this one has won prize of the best croissant in 2018. So that was a while ago, but I do understand because it looks really beautiful as well. So I have to say, this is not how the croissants in the Netherlands look. They are, there are so many layers, so much detail, beautiful. Of course, not at every boulangerie here, so that is why it's nice to know a few of those spots where they serve this. This is actually the cheapest one. It is 1 euro 20. Crazy cheap for something so beautiful, right? And especially comparing it to the price of that 4 euros of Cédric Collet. I keep naming that, but I think that is a nice balance that you should know. And of course, knowing that you should wait for an hour in line. <gasps> Did you hear that? I hope you can. Ooh, super flaky. Oh, there's a lot of flake. The outside stays perfectly crunchy, more than at the Liberté. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I found my new, <laughs> I found my new favorite. Mm. Mm. Mmm, the crunch on the outside is even more than Cedric Oles. The Liberté, the previous one, didn't have that much crunch, but still the layers were tasty. But this one is perfect. Layers there, buttery flavor there. Perfect flavor. The inside is super fl fluffy. It's flaky on the outside. It's not greasy on your hands, at least not that much. It's really nice that we finish our video with the perfect one, actually, for me. And also fun that it's the cheapest one, right? Anyway, that's it for the croissant tasting. Let me know if you have any other favorites here in Paris, or maybe you don't agree with my top four or my, my placing of this one as, a, as my favorite. But of course, we'd love to hear your comments in the comment section. And check out our other Paris videos because we have the best food that you should eat here. We found some really awesome spots, so definitely check out that video. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this. Really nice. Mm. Mm. Wow, the crunch is incredible. Yeah, they're really incredible. Mm.